Good morning, students, faculty, staff, and honored guests. I am Mia Montoya, the activity coordinator for United South High School. It gives me great pleasure to welcome everyone to our League of Legends Distinguished Alumni Program. It is truly a special privilege to celebrate accomplishments of our honorees, distinctions, which have made our school and district very proud. At this time, I would like to ask everyone to rise for the presentation of colors by our Meridian Junior ROTC under the direction of Gunnery Sergeant Billy Adams, followed by the National Anthem performed by our Mighty Panther Band, the Pledge of Allegiance, Texas Pledge, and Moment of Silence recited by Student Council President Jorge Vasquez. Forward! Push. Joining us this morning, we have Mike Garza, our Associate Superintendent and Administrator in Charge. Thank you. 
Nicoloma, the Dean of our Magnet. Our League of Legends Committee, Azucena Arredondo and Mr. Tomas Rodriguez. At this time, please help me welcome our magnet dean, Mr. Sine Karova. He will be speaking on behalf of our principal, Mrs. Martha Alex.
some memories. At this time, I would like to call on our United South High School student leaders for the introduction of our Panther Legends. At this time, I will call on Iris Rosas, Class of 2025 President. She will introduce our first Panther Legend, Dr. Sophia Lorraine Sprouts. Now I will call on Daniel Ortiz, our National Honor Society President, who will introduce our second Panther legend, Tina D. Ramirez. Thank you. 
Her third grade teacher encouraged her to read The Secret Garden, prompting her love for reading. Her high school English teacher taught her to think deeply, yet be open-minded, accepting, and loving. Some of her accomplishments include the following. Lorraine Hawaii's the Librarian of the Year in 2021, School Bell Award nominee for the Gaudi Elementary School in 2021, two-time presenter at TCEA Region 1 conferences in 2021 and 2022, co-organizer of two faith-based women's conference at Blessed Sacrament Church. She has been an exemplary model of service to the community during her son's youth and continues, as he's a college student, to be a role model parent. She models kindness, forgiveness, patience, and compassion with her friends and family and among the church community. Her message for students today, each day is a gift. Be your personal best every day. Not the absolute best or better than everyone else, but your best. By being your best, you will make a difference in your corner of the world. Help us welcome Ms. Tina Ramirez. You'll be brave and be bright, 
so no shadows can stay and become anybody that you'd like to be. <coughs> Center 
Center, an emergency partner. He credits his current successes with the education that he received while he was at Unite South High School. In high school, Ricardo was a member of the Unite South High School Panther football team where he played as a right receiver. He was recognized by the Texas High School Coaches Association during his junior season as an all-state recipient with a right receiver position. In the 1999-2000 season, the success continued as Ricardo was yet again a major contributor to the success of the Panther football team, earning Unite South High School's first district championship for district as well as by district championship in area finals. Upon graduation, he attended the River Community College and was a graduate of the nursing program at the age of 19. After his collegiate graduation, he started his career with the Laredo Fire Department, where he has been employed for 21 years. During, his during this time, he has received numerous accolades and promotions. He takes particular pride in his service to the community during the difficult COVID years when he was actively involved in the development of the new programs and systems to stem the tide of the pandemic. These programs included an all-new contact tracing program, as well as the COVID-19 man vaccination program that aided across the city. Additionally, he has served in various management roles throughout the department, from public information officer as well as being an infection control officer. In addition to his long-term employment with the Laredo Fire Department, Ricardo also has had a long-term employment with both local hospitals, currently serving at Laredo Medical Center. Here, he is employed as a head charge nurse for the emergency room. In his spare time, he got to enjoy spending time with his family, volunteering in the community, and supporting his alma mater, as the entire family all takes great pride in being a Panther alumni. Without further ado, please help me welcome Mr. Ricardo Olivia Jim.
Jesus instilled in him a deep respect and admiration for law enforcement, igniting his desired work for them, driven by a passion to serve his community and inspire young kids, much like the officers who inspired him. This dedication to protecting and helping others left a lasting impression, motivating him to pursue a career where he could make a positive impact and be a role model for future generations. Javier, with several trainings and certifications in the security and law enforcement industry, is currently working on his intermediate peace officer license. His mother is his biggest influence. A single mother, she consistently guided him down the right path and always set him straight, demonstrating unwavering strength and leadership within their whole family. His re her resilience and dedication inspired him daily. His uncle, who is also in law enforcement, serves a significant influence. He has been a father figure, encouraging and inspiring Javier to wear the uniform and fulfill the responsibilities of the job with integrity and compassion. His mentorship has been invaluable in shaping his journey in law enforcement. Some of his accomplishments include being a good father to his son, achieving several promotions as he rose through the ranks, including patrol sergeant and hostage negotiator with the Zapata County Sheriff's Office, joining the Laredo Police Department and earning certification as an advanced response patrol officer, receiving recognition that include the Life Saving Award, Officer of the Year Award, and Congressional Recognition Award. Javier wants to convey a message of hope, perseverance, and integrity to students today. No matter where you are in life or the challenges that you face, remember that anything is possible with hard work and the blessing of God. Upholding integrity and doing the right thing, even when no one is watching, is paramount. Recognize that every achievement is a result of dedication and the support of others. Stay grounded, stay focused, and never underestimate the power of kindness and humility in your interactions with others. Believe in yourself, trust your abilities, and never lose sight of your dreams. At this time, let's welcome Mr. Ricardo Javier Lopez. Morning, Panthers. Man, I remember sitting on those bleachers just like you guys. Brings back a lot of memories. Enjoy every second of it, guys, because it goes like that, right? Nothing wrong with having a little fun, as long as you do it safe, with integrity, you know. Just be vigilant and take care of Mr. Corona. He's a good guy. He took care of me a lot of times here in South. So I wrote a little speech for you guys, okay? All I ask for you guys is to absorb it through your heart because I wrote it with mine, okay? Dear students of United South High School, I stand before you today filled with an overwhelming sense of honor and pride. It is a privilege to be nominated as a League of Legend, representing not only the Laredo Police Department, but also each and every one of you, the future leaders of our community. As a police officer, I've come to realize the paramount importance of integrity. It is the bedrock of our profession, guiding us to always uphold the highest standards of honesty, fairness, and accountability. Integrity isn't just a virtue, it's a way of life, a guiding principle that should steer our actions, especially when faced with adversity. In our journey to make a difference, there will always be naysayers, or haters, as I like to call them. Those who doubt our abilities and question our motives. But remember, true greatness lies in doing what is right for the greater good, despite the obstacles that may come our way. No matter where you are in life, or what mistakes you make, or what problems you may have, 
Always remember that each new day is a gift from God. It's an opportunity to start afresh, to learn from our past, to rise above adversity, and to become the best version of yourself. In a world where we can't control external circumstances, our minds are our most powerful assets. We can't control others, we can't control the weather, nor can we predict the future. But we can control our thoughts and actions. Our minds are the most potent tools of this universe, capable of achieving remarkable feats when harnessed correctly. So I urge you all, use your time wisely. Don't waste it. While video games and social media may offer temporary escapism, true fulfillment comes from investing in ourselves and our futures. Instead of focusing on upgrading virtual characters, let's focus on enhancing our own characters in real life. Let's dedicate our time and energy to self-improvement, education, fitness, and meaningful pursuits that will leave a long-lasting impact on the world around us. Together, let's strive to be true legends, not in the virtual world, but in real life, and in the hearts and minds of those we love, inspire, and serve. Thank you.
Good morning, everyone. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank uh, the administration of United South High School for organizing this event, and thank you to the administrative staff for United ISD, and thank you, uh, Panthers, for, for being here this um, morning. If one were to take a quick glance at the many titles I have held, they would read as follows. Panther mascot, as a freshman, yes, I was the Panther mascot. <laughs> Class vice president, student council parliamentarian, and every morning I had the pleasure of saying, good morning Panthers, today is, as I said, he would recite the morning announcements. I was part of the Interact Club. I was a proud PALS member. But my, main, my biggest accomplishment would be being a part of the history-making girls varsity district championship team. I take pride in that accomplishment. I was a magnet officer, youth of the month. All these titles mean a lot to me. They mean something to me. But little did I know that my experiences as a student at United South High School were preparing me for what and who I am now. This is the house that built me. It is within <laughs> It is within these walls I sat and explored the works of Shakespeare, learned about the Great Depression, but most of all, I learned to be a leader. My teachers encouraged me to take a stand, fight for what I believed in, and to never let the downfalls prevent me from prevailing. When I graduated in 2002, I left home at 18 and put myself through college. By keeping the grade, my classes got paid. Being the one and only member of my immediate family, attending college, it was a struggle. But I never gave up. I wanted to thrive and make something of myself. In 2007, I entered into a rigorous yet rewarding career, education. I had the pleasure of teaching at many schools, but to come back home to United South High School to teach was the greatest blessing. Little did I know the place where my leadership skills were birthed would be the exact place where I became Teacher of the Year. I was granted the opportunity to lead my department as a pathfinder. My calling did not stop there. I placed my trust in a higher power, which led me to go back to school and get my master's degree to become a principal. I currently have the opportunity to aid in leading a campus as an assistant principal, and I know my journey will not stop there. You see, all of this would not have been possible if it were not for my faith, my family, and my foundation. A foundation that was built by United South. Whenever anyone asks me, hey, who did you graduate from? I proudly say, United South High School. Fellow Panthers, I end with this. Life has many bumps, curves, and downfalls. But through faith and perseverance, you will get to your destination. I challenge you all to go out into this world, work hard, and have a servant's heart. And you too may be standing up here one day. I am deeply honored to be inducted into the League of Legends and represent the best high school in Laredo, Texas, United South High School. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Blanco. One last round of applause for all our panelists. Our United South High School Silver Steppers will perform a routine 
under the direction of Ms. Ms. Griselda Rosado.